Hello, air signs. I originally started your reading, but my kitten decided to get stuck in the cabinet, so I had to restart this, right? Right. And then I had the yellow fats not to try to go in the fucking cabinet either, because he was trying to go and I left the door open. So, you know. Gemini, you're up first. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. This is for the week uh, of now, since I missed yesterday, to October 11th, next Friday. Uh, Air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game, right? Just boop your nose and away we goes. Right, right. Ooh. Gemini, you're up first. This isn't much different than what I originally read for you before I lost my shit on the kitties and was like, dudes, you're distracting me. I can't have this. Like, I totally lost my mojo for a second. I was so mad. But it was like, kitten was stuck so I couldn't really be mad. It was just like, oh my god, you're so sad that you're, you've are you gotten too fat for your hidey hole. That sucks. So let's see. We have a wish that came with hubris that now has led someone to stay up late at night and feel like they're suffering. Uh, lots of indecision for a king of cups, cancer, spicy, Scorpio type, and we got the strength card, reverse someone's restricting themselves, trying to move to calmer waters, it seems like, with the six of swords. Uh, this person just wants to find some peace with temperance, I feel like. King of cups, he wants to come back in from the cold, and this person over here is just impatient as fuck. They're impatient, they're angry, you know, they saying shit, <laughs> they talking to, like, the queen and the page of wands both talking shit towards his temperance. Oh my goodness. And someone feels like they definitely outdid themselves uh, with the torture. Mmm, Gemini, what the hell? Yeah, that's some harsh shit this week, man. Let's see. Um, you might have to go into trip mode, get a get your cane, turn it into a snake, call your spirit guide animal, which is a black dog. We call him albino for jokes, or ivory, <laughs> um, because there, for some reason it feels like something can't be let go of, like there's no peace. Those aliens from Mars attacks shot the bird. They were like, ah, ah, and then like everything just died, you know, everything, everything. And this might have changed to put you on the idea, you know, like, well, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and attack everything since that's what we're doing today. Thanks for letting me know. Thanks for letting me know. What the fuck, Harley? Oh my god. Hold on. I gotta see what my kitten's doing because she went back in the goddamn closet again. Didn't you? You bitch. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Get that out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Quit getting stuck in places you don't get, get stuck in. Why do you do this to me? I love you. I don't want to see you die in my house in a really weird place where I know it's going to be hard to get to you. Crazy. I didn't raise you to be that nuts. Ugh. I swear. I love my cats, but Jesus. That's like the eighth time I pulled her out of there this week, and she and she just tries to go right the fuck back in. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, you decided to shoot for her, just be like, I guess I'm going for the gold. I'm going to get what I can and leave the rest. Because they gave you a dead fish, and you've been sitting here just mulling over dead fish. You're just like, are you serious? I was pissed over a dead fish? Now I have a reason to be pissed. It... Get out of- I just told you to get out of there. Why are you trying to go back in? Are you for real? Little bitch, I swear, I'm- I'm- I'm making a door lock for that, and you're- Mmm. 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 You are grounded, little miss. Anyway, yeah, that's the energy you're kind of can't, you're kind of feeling right now. It's like dealing, it's like being frustrated with a child or a cat who acts like a child. You know, 
It's like this person. It's like you're looking at things from the inside and realizing that this person doesn't want peace. They want to fight. They want to pillage and take what's theirs. All because they're the ones who were staring at a cup that was with a fish the entire time. It's like, is this a threat? Is this a problem? It's like they watched too many mob movies and took the shit way too seriously. You know? So that might be what you're dealing with Gemini's this week, right? Sorry about my cats, but it's like Jesus. Uh, <laughs> crazies. I have seriously been pulling her out of that cabinet for a fucking week now. She's done this so many times. But anyway, let us continue. Are you back at... Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, yours went all the way down to the floor, Libra. And it's like it's taking you a long time to get some rest. I'll assume. You know, when they go on the floor, I feel like it takes more energy because it, I gotta reach for the shit, so... That's a hell of a stretch, dude. Are you ex exhausted? You, like, you're like, you, it's like you're trying to recover from a separation. Or from not making a choice or something like that. We got the Gemini right here with Lover's Reverse. Um, you might have drove somebody away who you didn't mean to. Maybe the head games were the wrong kind of games. You didn't realize it was that kind of head they were playing with if you get my drift. You know, maybe they weren't on the same compatibility. You know, Five of Swords does always talk about mind games and shit, but it's not always, like, to the detriment on purpose. It's kind of like, you know, like, sometimes people are intimidated by how smart you are, too. You know, a lot of people like the things that, like, Libras are airheaded, but they're really not. They're very, they're actually really emotional creatures who are easily bothered by people, and they just want to either have a good time or be left the fuck alone, you know? That also happens to be the scariest people when fucking angry, and I, and I usually stay away from that. <sighs> Especially my dad. Ugh. Someday I'm gonna have to face that. Let's see. I'm trying to rest from a king of wands, are ya? Dude. Dude, I sure I'm talking a lot for someone trying to make quick videos, but oh well. I got the Wheel of Fortune. I'm probably not going to put thumbnails on any of these. Uh, fuck it, it's late. <laughs> I might, probably afterwards. Okay, two more. And blah 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 blah. Okay, Libra! I feel like you're trying to recover from, like, a king of wands, or you're trying to recover, but you're also trying to judge accordingly from your throne before you move forward to take some action. Which is what you're possibly doing with the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe even offering your cup to somebody, right? Now, you might have played some games with the head of one of, uh, one of them, right? Don't matter. Um, might have played them games... But now a cycle has ended with that, and now a new beginning's coming in where you can take a leap of faith to offer your cup out. Now, there also could be some stuff that you're regretting, right? And it might be a separation with a lover. And either you or your cross-watcher is very guarded because, you know, uh... I don't know, do you not want to be alone or single anymore? Or It's like someone's dis disenfranchised with their identity. Or they just don't feel like themselves. And there's like a lot of regrets coming in. But there's a cup right here floating. Being like, hey, little buddy, I got this for you. You use it to be like this. But it's like, you might not be seeing that entirely as it should be seen. Oh, this is wrong deck. My bad. Anyway. Um. I don't know what we should look at. Ah, let's just lay them down then. Usually I, I have an idea, but it's late, not so much. Oh, shit. Uh, you might go on the attack to have some action happen, like Captain. Mm. To ruin someone else's... Or you're going to shoot the person who's trying to ruin your day. One of the two. It's like your girl wanting to charge back at, the, at that one person who fucked up your day. Maybe from back when you were kids. Ew. You might actually be trying to... You might actually be trying to recover from Leo. 
and you will take any means necessary to kill that motherfucker from stopping him from fucking with your shit. Because he's a temptation with the devil right here. Could be a Capricorn as well. Something's tempting you. And you know, it's not good juju. Look at all these things just watching y'all fuck, you know? Like, you might have to choke the lion instead of embrace it, you know? You might have to choke that dude out just be like, this is for your own good! You know, like, you might have to go that way. Actually, that was a really fucked up scenario. <laughs> Don't choke your cats, please. It doesn't matter how many times they get stuck in a cabinet. Don't abuse your animals. Please, for the love of God, don't let me find out you abuse your animals. Because I will absolutely fucking hate you. I will. Right? Mmm. Yeah, you might have to choke your lion out in order to, um... Get that coin. Huh. Very interesting, Libra. That's your shadow this week. Oh, my God. Come here, please. Thank you. All right. Last but not least is Aquarius. So notorious Aquarius. I don't know. That just works with it. It just sounds so nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Love it. Let's see. That's where I love being Aquarius, man, because I get to talk to Aquarius. And Aquarius is just as weird as I am sometimes. It's not more so. And that's refreshing. It's hard to find a good Aquarius now and then. <laughs> They're almost as rare as Capricorns. Okay. Aquarius, you feel like you can't rest. You feel like you're not getting a break from something. Is that person bothering you again? Yeah, and you're just ready to start cutting bitches. You're just like, you know what? I ain't even mad no more. I'm I'm done. We're leaving this situation one way or another. I have made my choice. I feel like you're trying to make a choice amidst all of your unrest and such, right? And you are yeah, you're cutting stuff up. You got decisions to make, bro. And cutting out this devil energy will definitely open doors for you. Or it could be a marriage that's actually toxic for you. One of the two. Could be actually coming in contact with a Gemini as well. Yeah, 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 well, I called that one. Yeah, it's like, if this is a marriage, it completely leaves you unhappy. It, it stalls you out. It makes you feel like there's nowhere to go. Aquarius, you're trying to get rest and make some sort of choices about, like, this whole third-party situation that's just driving you nuts. It's keeping you bound and stuck where you don't want to deal with shit, right? Um... And you're trying to get out of a um, bad situation, possibly Capricorn, and they still got the door open for you. They're sort of just like, just come on in, honey. It'll be okay. Like, we'll just talk it out. And you're just like, no, I don't want to talk it out. Why do I want to talk to you? You know, like, you, you kind of get like that. It's just like, the more they try to coax you to do it, the more it just irritates you because you know that they're doing it because it does irritate you. And they should recognize that by now, but it's like they don't care. You know, and that's what makes you more irritated. So now you're just completely like, you know what? Emotions are just shut off at this point. I'm just going to make a decision. Um, we got the lovers right here, but it's like you don't know where to go. It's like, it's like you don't have any options on where you're going to go. You want to make a decision on this whole lovers thing without having emotion involved, but I feel like that's not happening for you. We got a queen of pentacles. And strength reverse. Earth sign Leo. You might be wondering about your coin, but you also are trying to choke a lion out. You might have a beast on your hands you might have to put down. It's like Lenny from Of Mice and Men kind of scenario. To the point where you're just like, I'm just gonna leave. I, like, I've tried choking you, and like, now you're, uh, you know. Like, you might have to choke this person out, because you might have been the person who has tried to leave before. And I almost feel like, with it this way, it's like the person just decided they weren't going to give up, regardless of the fact that you walked. And that's why you kind of had to choke him. Um, you need to possibly... This 
characters just come up like nobody knows them, like they're disguised and shit, trying to find out shit about you. Being like, hey, fellow cool kids. Or hey, fellow dogs and crabs. As you can see, I'm the appropriate colors. And the dogs are barking and being like, you're not a real cop. And you know, all that jazz, right? This person, and this person just wants to know because they want a piece. They'll be like, I'll be back later. <laughs> the actual fuck. Oh my goodness. I'm probably not going to put a lot in the title. I'm probably not going to do the thumbnails. I'm just letting you guys know. But, that's because it's been a long day. Actually, it's been a long few weeks. But, that'll come up later, I promise. Um, but, that is your reading, y'all. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I love your faces. Sorry I got this out late, y'all, but I will see you later. Bye-bye.